The pond was first observed on July 25, 2019. And at that time, it was difficult to see. Luckily, the aerial survey that was going on had very high resolution images that were used to confirm that this small puddle uh, was, was actually there. The, the pond was very small. It was about 10 meters wide, or about 33 feet across, and, and very shallow. The pond has been present for two months now. The water level has slowly uh, risen. And today, uh, the water pond is, is about 100 meters long, a bit over 300 feet in the east-west dimension, and about 50 meters kind of in the north-south dimension, or about 150 uh, feet or so. That's about the size of a football field, so it's pretty big size and pretty big change over you know, a relatively short period of time. We've been tracking this water level rise very closely on a near daily basis. What we see is that the uh, rise rate is, is relatively steady. It's about uh, six inches per day. The total depth of the pond is, is approaching 10 meters or so, so a little over 30 feet deep. The pond has this kind of greenish yellow color um, and it's not uniform over the, the surface. As there are segments of the pond that are kind of bluer or more clear and others that are more yellow or green or opaque. The greenish yellow color is presumably uh, because of sulfur. High resolution videos show the circulation and, and mixing, um, but what you can see in these circulation videos is what looks like uh, clear, fresher water uh, that's coming in from the south margin, kind of upwelling um, and mixing in to the pond. And one other common feature on the pond is, is the steaming that we see. That's another testament to the fact that the pond is, is scalding hot. It's a dynamic time at Kilauea Summit right now, so we're keeping a close eye on the water pond to look for any possible changes, and we're doing that through a number of, of, of means. First of all, we have a webcam that we set up on the West Caldera Rim. We're also going on a near daily basis on foot to make uh, direct observations, and one of the most important things that we do is take uh, measurements with a laser rangefinder of the water level. So we'll walk out a short distance, uh, to the West Caldera Rim, we'll set up a tripod and set up our laser range finder. Temperature, based on the thermal camera measurements of the water surface, is about 70 degrees Celsius, or about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's telling us that the water is heated by the magmatic system from, from depth. One thing that we've noticed uh, through tracking is that that water temperature has been uh, very stable. We also rely on visual observations, taking high-resolution photographs. We're also monitoring on regular overflights, and that gives us a view of portions of the pond that we can't necessarily see from the ground. In addition to that visual monitoring and the field measurements and the thermal monitoring, we have our uh, extensive network of geophysical and geodetic and, and geochemistry uh, monitoring tools uh, that are situated at the summit. Uh, Kilauea is one of the best monitored volcanoes on Earth, and the summit network is particularly dense. So there's a, a really close, continuous view of, of what's going on there.